Hey guys, Dev here uh, from the Dignitas Valorant team. Here today, I'm going to show you how to defend on Bind. Um, Bind is actually one of my favorite maps, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I set up Cypher for kills and, and defending some of these sites. So personally, let's get straight into it. I think Cypher, um, this is one of his best maps. How I see Cypher used on this map is that his trips should be in different positions most rounds. If, you, if your trips look the same every round, people are expecting them. So I'll show you today how to use some variants, how to use different trips for, for different things. And I'll, I'll, I'll show some of the, the, I guess the meta game that I'm seeing right now with Cypher being used in, especially pro play. So first off, I'm gonna start on the B side. I'm gonna just run through some of the trips that I like using. So for hookah trips, um, I like using this trip for the entry. This is just one trip where it makes it more awkward for them to come in and shoot it. So this is m maybe a trip if, um, and I even use this as a bait trip. So if if we have a teammate open in sight and this guy sees the trip and doesn't want to shoot it instantly and he feels like he can crawl into it, sometimes we can have our AWP posted here, for example. Uh, so if he was to get cheeky and try and uh, come under the trip, he'd just get instantly killed. So. It serves one as a confirmation that they're in hookah or they're working hookah and one maybe as a bait for this guy top tube if if you're to be octagon with another teammate and then your AWP was top tube. So that's just one of the examples how the trips can be used for more than just information. I won't speak too much about the basic trips in hookah because we've seen them all before. Uh, you can definitely do the ones on the ground and there's um, there's really been no trip anymore especially on a map, map like Vine that's a lot of a lot of teams have played and a lot of hours have been uh, put in the custom servers it's really got it's really hard to find trips that haven't been found now but I think the custom trips is these ones on the ground here are really good for anyone retaking if you were to do a retake I think these trips are the ones that you want to throw um, really easy trips and they're random you can do them on the ground anywhere so anyone coming out of hookah that maybe wants to scale fast because this isn't, as an attacker, you don't want to be in this sit this area for too long. So normally they'll run over a trip and the guy elbow or guy spawn can kill them. Or maybe we even have a guy in the tube playing it. Sometimes you can come here and do cams for your teammates. So if you if you were to send 2B and 3A at the start, you can come put a cam here, for example, to watch long and then they can fight hookah. Or another example would be for me to actually put a cam inside hookah and then rotate at the start of the round. So I'd pop it before the barrier came down. So I'd run to spawn like this, for example. I'd get my gun out and then I'd pop my cam. So they haven't heard the pop cam. We don't have to trip hookah. I'm in a fast rotate for either side. Um, so this is just one of the examples where Cypher, we realize Cypher doesn't always have to be on a site. He can be on his cam in a spot where he can rotate either way. So some other trips, we see like anyone's on the ground here is gonna always catch a guy off guard. If you think about it, if you run into the site, especially if these cages were to be popped, if they if you heard them jump out and then you were to pop the cage, the chances of them running through this is pretty pretty high. And all you have to do is shoot them through either side of the box. And remember, anything at this point isn't really spammable. So you wanna be you wanna make sure that in your mind you know that um, this is the end of both sides and I think it's like this thing right here is the end of this side and then it's just right about here I've seen a lot of people someone will get tripped and start walking and, and they'll be spamming here not realizing that they're doing zero damage so uh, this is why I like playing off this trip normally someone has the habit of going up this close wall and crossing in the smoke and then I'm in a position where I can just sit in the tube and just shoot them through the tubes. And one of the cams that goes with this really well, so this is something that you throw at the start of the round, is just up here. So your trips are up, your cages are up, and you can just play in the tube and play off the cam. You can tag a guy coming out, and you can pop your cages as you're doing that, and then you can do your shooting through the smoke, and then you can wait, wait, wait for your trips to be activated. And all this time, you play, your teammates are rotating, your server's throwing a dart up here, and then that's where it becomes, defending becomes uh, much easier. One of the plays that you can do, and I, I suggest that you try it out next time you have a ranked game, and just request your omen or your uh, your um, 
I almost said super because he's my brim, but uh, brimstone. Um, ask him to smoke here, right here on the map, in front of Hookah. And then you can use your cam like in a tricky way like this or behind the box. Um, and then maybe trip Hookah and go play A. Just one example of uh, using Cypher in a ranked game with your teammates. So now as attackers, they have to worry about a smoke. They've heard the cam go up. They're not really sure where the cam is. Um, and it really puts a spanner in their works in terms of their default. And then at a certain time, say uh, you figured out the round, maybe you feel like they're ending B, you pop the cam as soon as they break the trip. Um, and then you have that instant in information. Uh, everyone can look at radar, can see the amount of players, uh, how, they, how they're trying to take hookah, is it a fake? Um, and this is the kind of information that wins rounds and wins games. So on bind on A, um, I actually think Cypher is one of his worst sites, but I th still think it's one of his better maps. Cypher on this site, um, his trips are pretty predictable at this point, and his cam is pretty predictable. So a lot of his stuff is, is information later in the round. There's no real cams that you can use early on that's gonna give you a ton of information. Uh, sometimes I actually like just suiciding my cam in mid here when the blue barrier comes down and I'll just pop it. So if they were to do a 4-1 default where four of the opponents were at B and then one of them at A, that I have this information all the way up to the, to the point where they come and clear mid. So maybe they've done a B default coming back to mid and then they've finally seen this cam and I've spotted three guys. That gives us, that gives us a ton of information. It means our rotate can, uh, our rotate can come in into A. Some of the trips I like using toilets at early round. I'll wait here with the blue wall and then I'll head up to uh, the end of showers here. Sometimes I'll request a smoke of my teammate, uh, but also you can just come cage. And the point in this is that as an attacker on this side, you have to come all the way up here to shoot shoot the trip. So that gives it, that gives us a lot of opportunity to, to be annoying. So if they were to come up and we were hearing him and they were just about to shoot the trip, as soon as he pops it, I come in and spam. And this trip is really good, as well as the other uh, shower trips that you can use. Uh, these trips are good because if a team is to finish A late, the chances of them having one bathroom is pretty high. So um, you, you, gain, you gain that information again. If they were to do a B default back to A, and a guy were to shoot this trip late, it gives us a massive amount of information. Uh, because why would someone be bathrooms if they're ending B? That's how I approach Cypher. I'm not particularly setting myself up for kills. I'm using the information that the character can gain. So another fine detail I wanna show with you guys is, is that you can always move your trips. Um, and I don't see this very often in pro play and I suggest that um, anyone trying to learn Cypher out there tries to adopt this slightly. So if I was to say I had a very standard trip that was on A short, maybe I had one right here or right here. Very standard, everyone's seen the trip before. Um, but as the round develops, you, you can use this trip differently. So if, if you were to see that they were working B on their default, like uh, some teams do, you can take your trip back and then you can place it deeper down mid. You know that there's the majority of the teams at B, so someone has to watch showers. And if they're not showers, you're risking the fact that he stood here. So... Uh, he might occasionally shoot the trip that gives you the info anyway, but this trip now means that when you're coming back, they have to go through a short trip or shoot a short trip uh, to hit the site. So that's that's that early indication for these guys on, to, on the site. Maybe they're playing in site or playing in U-Haul. It gives them that early information to be prepared for, for when the hit comes in. Or you could get a cam in a spot that gives you great information. I like using cams on on the edges of wall and just popping it occasionally late. Um, so anyone anyone walking in showers late, all their plans are revealed and we can get them rotates into A. So um, I think some ciphers find it difficult to, to realize that they can be a bit more active in the way that they defend. Um, I don't think you always have to be playing on your cam and playing around your cages and using your trips for kills. Uh, I think cipher goes way, way deeper than that. So in terms of attacking on this map, I actually love, love Cypher on this map and I can show you how to default on pretty much every single part of this map. So one example is toilets. I approach toilets differently every round. 
Uh, you can use a chem that's much more passive that's spotting legs. Or you can use much more of an aggro chem right now that's going to ping a guy instantly. Chances are they're going to shoot the chem. And now that you have, now at least you know they're in toilets, maybe they can walk up short uh, earlier. I like me uh, changing it up every round. I think on your default, you should be changing uh, little aspects of your default every time you run them. So uh, sometimes you can in instantly just come cam and then cage, and then you can be annoying, make a ton of noise, put that pressure on earlier Cypher. I'd say Cypher is the most traditional uh, default are on this map at toilets, but uh, we definitely can use them in different locations. Uh, so one example is short, uh, short right now. You can be coming mid for this early push. I know in ranked right now, we're having a lot of pushes with the AWPA and the jet, especially as he can dash away. So sometimes if you suggest to your team that you can watch mid and then you early cam mid, ping the guy, and then you can push them off this way. This is just one of the examples, but sometimes you're not gonna have any opposition here at short. Maybe you pop, pop the cam out, didn't say anything. And then I encourage you to use stuff like this. So your cages as default in. And a lot of people realize that your cages can also gain a ton of space. Um, we actually throw these cages as a part of some of our defaults just to mess with the team. And you think if you're playing bathrooms and you're to see this cage, there has to be a rotate or there has to be some information used to clear this. Um, if you're playing no one you haul and that wall goes up or a phoenix wall goes up, uh, you know that they can be walking into you haul. So they have to spam it or send a sova dart through it or Roomba it or use use something to gain some information that we're not in you haul or not. So that's an example of how you as Cypher can use two cages to get a ton, ton of utility out of the teammates. So I went over how to actually default at the A site with long and uh, short. And now I'm going to show you how to do B short and B long. One of the options for hooker I suggest you guys try is uh, putting a cam up here instantly for checking for that peak there. So anyone standing here ready to peak, at least you can be in a position where uh, you can get across or you can stay in that corner there. Uh, so I like taking my cam back if no one's there and then I'll jump, do the jump spot for the guy. So it's really important that you only show enough to see the radar. Um, and obviously I'm not gonna do a tutorial right now, but jump spot in it is your, your friend on this game. Carrying on with uh, the hooker control, um, I can see after the jump spot, you were to cage here. And then remember, if you are to slow this down slightly, if you're to cam and then walk up, jump spot, cage. Now at this point, you know that 15 second timer of pulling your cam back is coming back. So now that you can use your cam again, uh, you can clear the whole of hooker really passively. Like you don't have to use a ton of utility. Um, the chances of, of them being in there, certain teams are gonna be playing hooker most of the time, but some teams will completely give hooker. So try it in your next ranked game as Cypher to try and work hooker. And for long, Cypher has quite a few jobs at long. Um, this was originally his first default spot, but I think as the meta changes, we're seeing that him move uh, around a bit more often. But his cam can go here at the start to spot. Obviously we have the Sova darts coming down right now. You'll be popping that and holding for a bit. And again, you can jump spot for this AWPA here. And then as soon as you have this angle cleared, maybe you have your AWPA posting down, down deep for you or this has been smoked. A nice easy cage. I just get along this wall here and then I just go up uh, from this building here to about there. And that's my cage. And that's my cage for this cross. So if I was to want to clear this, for example, or if I wanted to cage this and cross myself, so this had pop, I popped, I got across, and then now I'm in this cage. And then just before this is rounded down, I pop this cage, we clear long, and then we can go into an execute. So that's one of the examples that I can use Cypher as, uh, cages as map control too. Um, and if you don't want to spend an extra one here, you can get your teammate to smoke it, or you can get your AWPA to compost on this, and now you can work freely. Um, Another cage from long I suggest that you guys try out. Um, I like to line up with this wall right here. And then I go up past the second halfway through in line with this brick here. And right at the top of my jump, I release my cage. And this is one cage for elbow. So if you're using a brim that maybe has a limited uh, amount of uh, smokes, that 
you as a cipher can also do your job as, as a smoker. Uh, and that's why I love, love cipher so much because it seems like his job's always evolving in, in the matter. So uh, yeah, that's just a few ideas for you guys working the map on attacking side. Uh, try cipher out everywhere. I feel like he can default on any map at, at any site. So um, yeah, excited to, to see your guys' opinions on this. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This was uh, part two of an extended cipher guide that I'm, I'm going to be bringing to the, the Dignitas YouTube channel. So make sure that you hit that like button, you hit the subscribe button and, and leave a comment below if, if you have questions about maybe my guide or you want to see some different content in the future. Uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Um, appreciate you guys watching um, and I'll see you next time.